Hey everybody, good to see you. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for the lack of video content over the past few months. I know I constantly say I'm going to do more videos, but this past year has been a little wild, uh, in a good way. Uh, at the start of the pandemic, uh, we were telling folks that it could actually be a good thing for a lot of businesses, and it was for a lot of uh, businesses that had to deal with home and garden. Um, our business included. We have not been able to keep up with the amount of statuary orders. We're hearing the same thing from all sorts of other companies. So in short, I have been busy uh, to where I just haven't had time to really worry about doing videos that, but my wife told me I got to get started on these videos again. She's the one that handles all our emails and she said that we're getting so many requests for different videos. So I'm going to get back on it starting with this one here today. So uh, here we are. This is about uh, what first week of April 2021. Uh, so I hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to show a quick little video how to do a stone-like paint finish on a little uh, like carved stone owl design. Kind of an odd looking piece uh, received not too long ago. Now here it is just in its plain unfinished state. Uh, nothing too fancy. The first step I do is I give it the black watery black base coat. So we'll get that one to the side because I've already done it right here to this one. As you can see it's a little patchy in that because it was a watered down coat of a, a latex black paint, exterior grade. Uh, that's what I want. I always like that watered down coat so it soaks into the cement a little bit. That way I know this finish is going to last for years. So I'm going to show you this finish with the black base coat, but at the end of this video I'm going to show you a different version you can do using the same technique and get a slightly different look. But for right now we're going to show this one. I've got three different colors of paint. Two actually. Uh, I've got white paint, I've got black paint, and I mixed a little of them together and got some gray paint. So uh, technically uh, you could say I only have two colors of paint we're going to use for this technique because uh, since you can blend them get the gray. So we're going to start with the gray over the black. Now this is just a standard dry brush technique where I'm going to take this and kind of wipe some of it off here and we're going to go against the grains of this piece here let the piece do the work for you. As you can see, it's picking up the paint on certain areas, not picking it up down in the details and the crevices. That's what we want. We want it to look like we spent a lot of time getting all those details to show up, but we're not. As you can see, literally seconds of painting work, and that is done. Already, you can see a lot more detail on this piece now. Okay? Now, for the sake of time for this video, I'm going to use my trusty heat gun just to dry this up just a bit. Honestly, it's warm enough out right now, it probably doesn't even need this, but I'm just gonna be safe, give it just a quick one over. All right, now what I'm gonna do, same brush, didn't even bother washing it off. I'm gonna get some of this white paint. I'm gonna put it, smear it down in there, get most of it off. I'm gonna get a little bit of that gray in there. I don't want it bright white. Now this I want lighter than the gray that I just put on there. I don't want it as heavy on the piece. Now what we're going to do, uh, it's a little too heavy still, let's get rid of some of it. We're just going to kind of gently brush over like we're lightly dusting it. Kind of like an archaeologist dusting off those bones that he found in the desert. Being we're so careful that he's not going to break the bone itself, just dusting that dirt off of it. That's all we're doing. We're just kind of hitting the highlights here. Let's get some of the underneath here. Generally when I paint, I don't let it sit on a table. I just hold the piece so I can go super fast. I'm actually going slow. This is slow for me. All right, so now we got kind of a two-tone effect there with the black base coat, some gray, and then a bit of white. So it gives you a bit of an effect there. I'm gonna show you another piece here. This one's already painted. Now the difference with this particular piece, and it's a different piece obviously, but um, this was not given a black base coat. This instead was given a gray base coat. And then all I did was go over it with a light dusting of white over it. Basically the same thing, but you can see the drastically different look. This one's much darker looking. This one's very light and soft looking, but the same colors. Um, uh, just instead of using black, I used the gray as the base coat, so it softens it up. So you can kind of determine what you like better if you want a more of a softer uh, stone type finish or more of a harsh dark one that I went for this. Now for this owl I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm learning that the customers like these to have a little bit more personality. Now this is kind of an odd, you know, we'll say kind of a uh, modern art carved stone tribal, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's obviously not meant to look realistic. 
but I'm going to take a little bit of this black since I have it here. I'm just going to real quick fill in the eyes with black. Now, when I detail paint animal figurines and that, I will take the time to really do nice detailed eyes with pupils and irises and do them all colored. This is not a statue where that's going to look right. If I put nice colorful eyes in here, this thing's going to look a little creepy. So what I do is I just kind of put a little black there and then again we'll just dry those up real quick. And then just for a little bit more personality I'm going to take the end of my brush here, not the, bristle, the bristles but the end, just going to dip it into that white paint and then I'm just going to go over here and just put a little dot there and on the same side of this eye Put it right there. And there you go. So that piece is done. Kind of a different looking piece. Uh, very simple as you saw. Here's the weird thing. This simple little piece that took next to no time to finish, this sells for $20 and people seem to love it. So uh, you can't complain about that. But there you go. Two simple finishes done with just simple basic black, white, and or gray paints. Uh, both done about the same. No uh, uh, difficulty there. The only thing I will do after this is use a... Uh, one of these, this is black, so I won't use this, but uh, I'll use a clear coat of enamel and just spray these down just to kind of seal the paint in and it makes it a little shiny because I like using the gloss. You don't have to use gloss, of course, but that just helps lock in that outer coat of paint. That way it's going to last for years. So there you go. A couple simple finishes. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to uh, subscribe for more upcoming videos. I will stay on top of it this time, I promise. And make sure to check out my website, rubbermoldman.com, and you can check us out on Facebook as well. See you next time.